it's Jadeen. Oh yeah, it's Jadeen. Uh, 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 it's Jadeen. Uh, I can't even remember the tune. But anyways, it's Jadeen. Wagwan. <laughs> well, I know that I'm, I'm obviously from Britain, right? I've got a Yorkshire accent. <laughs> um, if you're wondering where that accent's from. Hi, I'm from Yorkshire, where we drink tea. Anyway. Mm, it's Jadine. Oh yeah, it's Jadine. Uh, 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 uh. I need to get like a little, a little theme tune or whatever. Anyway. She's wild. Wild. Um, Miss Jayapal, she basically um, was talking to the Attorney General of Michi Michigan um some far i think his name is anyways some old guy some old white guy what else is it to say i mean he's an attorney general she she basically gave him a right walloping and um verbal assault not a physical assault um and not even like in a disrespectful way she did get passionate but she was just like you know at the end of the day this is wrong you know you've got you you were so brutal to them black lives matter peaceful protesters who were basically not doing anything wrong because you've got a right to protest um as per the constitution over there but they were like excessive force was used so they were pepper sprayed he's denying the pepper spray um but you know that's what she's saying basically they used irritants chemical irritants um to and you know brute force the show of numbers and such to get the black lives matter protesters protesters out of the way so that trump could take a picture i don't know what to tell you guys i don't know what to tell you a protest going on and the protesters were brutally excessive force i would say just to uh shout out on here i'm really sorry but i'm having some technical difficulties with this clip so i'm gonna pull in some audio from the clip and um hopefully it'll sound okay Mr. Barr, on June 1st, there were protests against the murder of George Floyd and police brutality in Lafayette Park. Let us not be distracted by you or my GOP colleagues as to what these powerful and massive protests were actually about. They were about the persistent killing of black bodies by law enforcement. And finally, finally, an awakening in America of the conscience of our country. And yet your response, Mr. Barr, was to direct federal officers to close in on the protesters and to use shields offensively as weapons, tear gas, pepper balls, irritants, explosive devices, batons, and horses to clear the area just so the president could get a photo op. So I do want to ask you, do you think that your response, do you think the response at Lafayette Square to tear gas, pepper spray, and beat and protesters and injure American citizens who were just simply uh, exercising their First Amendment rights was appropriate? Well, first, it's my understanding that no tear gas was used on Monday, June 1st. And Mr. Barr, that is a semantic distinction that has been proven false by many fact checkers. How is it semantic? Do you think? How is it semantic? Tear gas is a particular compound. You talked about chemical irritants, and it has been proven false by reports. So just answer the question. Do you well, think that think it was appropriate well, at Lafayette Park to pepper spray tear gas and beat protesters and injure American citizens? Well, I don't accept your characterization of what happened, but as I explained, the effort there was... Uh, Mr. Barr, I just asked for a yes or no, so let me just tell you a question. They were moved so that, well, I mean, they're, they're denying it, but basically they, the protesters were moved so Trump could take some pictures in the park, in the square. I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, he's he's not my president, but I mean, 
say no more say no more so um yeah so it was it was they they're, say, they're basically saying let me get my words out they're basically saying that it was coincidental why trump came to take the picture a few moments after the protesters were moved along i mean come on pinocchio anyway um so according to sworn testimony before the house natural resources committee by army national guard officer adam demarco who was there this was quote an unprovoked escalation and excessive use of force against peaceful protesters well, I don't numerous remember, media I don't remember reports DeMarco confirming was being a, I don't mr remember barr DeMarco excuse me this is in my time the sir sir when it comes to black lives and black people there's just like i don't i feel like people assume that black people were were hard of hearing we can't hear um were, were rude or were stubborn were difficult to deal with uh, there's all these negative th um kind of stereotypes and she was basically saying you know that that brutality was was shown to peaceful protesters right i'm not talking about the rioters because the rioters are just as disgusting as the police abusing their power okay you can't go doing a peaceful protest to try and create change and then just go and start destroying stuff i don't agree with that i'm sorry but i don't but anyways um that's never that's another topic for another day um but basically she she was just like so when it comes to black people and people of color i hate that term i would rather say diverse ethnicities diverse ethnicities sounds a bit more like professional like i feel like people of color just sounds a bit like I don't know i just don't want to be referred to as colored like i just don't it's just it's just very triggering to me but yeah so basically they showed they 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 showed the people of color the the brutality that they're protesting basically and then when it comes to um this this um far right protest um where they brought guns they had the confederate flags they were um showing nazi symbolisms and and hail hitlers and all this crap um and they were <laughs> makes me so mad they were treated like human beings and removed safely without any injuries the president told governors on a telephone call that the way to deal with the protesters of police brutality and systemic racism like in Lafayette Square is that, quote, you have to get much tougher. You have to dominate. If you don't dominate, you're wasting your time. These are terrorists. And he also talked about you on that call, sir. Here's what he said. He said, the attorney general is here, Bill Barr, and we will activate Bill Barr and activate him strongly. Do you remember that call, Mr. Barr? Yes, I do. But he wasn't talking about protesters. He was talking Mr. about Barr, rioters. Mr. Barr, apparently the president believes that you can be activated to implement the president's agenda and dominate American people exercising First Amendment rights if they're protesting against him. But let's look at how you respond when the protesters are supporters of the president, on two separate occasions, after President Trump tweeted, liberate Michigan to subvert stay home orders to protect the public health of people in Michigan, protesters swarmed the Michigan Capitol carrying guns, some with swastikas, Confederate flags, and one even with a dark haired doll with a noose around its neck. Are you aware that these protesters called for the governor to be lynched, shot, and beheaded? No. You're not aware of that? I was not aware of that. Major protests in Michigan. You're the attorney general. 
and you didn't know that the protesters called for the governor to be lynched, shot, and beheaded. So well, obviously you couldn't be concerned about that. Well, there are a lot you, of protests around the United States, and uh, on June Attorney 1st, General I was Barr, worried about the District of Columbia, which is federal. protests in certain parts of the country. You're very aware of those, but when protesters with guns and swastikas I'm very, and I am aware of, flags, of excuse me, Mr. Barr, this is my time, and I control it. <clears throat> You are aware of certain kinds of protesters, but in Michigan, when protesters carry guns and Confederate flags and swastikas and call for the governor of Michigan to be beheaded and shot and lynched, somehow you're not aware of that. Somehow you didn't know about it, so you didn't send federal agents in to do to the president's supporters what you did to the president's protesters. In fact, you didn't you didn't put pepper balls on those protesters. So the point I'm trying to make here, Mr. Barr, that I think is very important for the country to understand is that there is a real discrepancy in how you react as the attorney general, the top cop in this country, when white men with swastikas storm a government building with guns, there is no need for the president to, quote, activate you because they're getting the president's personal agenda done. But when black people and people of color protest, police brutality, systemic racism, and the president's very own lack of response to those critical issues, then you forcibly remove them with armed federal officers, pepper bombs, because they are considered terrorists by the president. You take an aggressive approach to Black Lives Matter protests, but not to right-wing extremists threatening to lynch a governor if it's for the Trump's, if it's for the president's benefit. Did I get it right, Mr. Barr? Why are black people walking around? Yeah, they've had a rubber bullet to the face. Yeah, I watched this, this one video. This guy had got a rubber bullet to his mouth and needs braces, you know? Peaceful protest. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't mean to get passionate, but it just triggers me because what she said was bang on. This is the problem, is that you have these negative stereotypes, right, that have been put in place through, through the slavery and through this mentality of um, black is bad and white is pure, right? You know how you always get the, the, the yin yangs and the... the the um oh god what's it called now where you have um like the the good angel and the the bad angel right it's always something to do with black in it something to do with black eh? <laughs> it makes me so angry like i know i'm smiling but i'm actually triggered like it makes me so mad because my i have got family in boston so they could potentially be you know be harmed by these these brutal cowards that that hide behind shields and use them as weapons guys like what is going on in america what is what is actually going on it's insane like take a moment here because i'm actually really really mad that the 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 attorney general was just like i haven't heard about protests um that that new like uh, well well the, i haven't heard about people being um uh, man i can't even think what the idiot said he was just like oh that was it he said right because she said Pramila, stay with me here but Pramila Jayapal, she said, yeah, the governor of, uh, in Michigan, there's a governor in Michigan, I'm sorry, Detroit, I think it is, Detroit, um, who was threatened, right, threatened with physical violence, lynching, right, and when I heard about when she said that, I thought, well, is, is, the, is the governor a black person, like, what's going on? No, she's a she's a white looking woman, but her subordinate now, her lieutenant, is a black man, a young man. And I thought, is that why they made that threat? Because they're like, there's a woman, there's a black man. You know, was it was it too much for them? Like, I, I really don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, she was spot on, and she's 
you know, she got it right, okay? She got it right. She 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 said, shut up, it's not it's not your turn, it's my turn to speak. I was like, yes, yes, like the energy was on 10. I was just like, I'm spitting everywhere. I'm I'm like, oh my god. She she was he he basically couldn't really refute what she was saying because once she starts coming off with some spiel, she was just like, it's a yes or no. I was like, oh girl, okay, but yeah, for real. Um, this mentality of of treating black people like you know we 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 don't have pain. Yeah, you know people got sickle cell anemia and they go to hospital they go to any in a crisis right how many of them have to be begging and shouting and screaming for painkillers right imagine your your um leg say has got no oxygen to it excuse me i'm not even going to go into sickle cell anemia because like it's long and complicated or complex but anyways right imagine you've got no oxygen going to your leg do you know how painful that is do you know how painful it is right just imagine your body like imagine when you get a, a cramp or a stitch yeah times up by like a million right this is what these people are going through you know and they're like oh yeah they're seeking morphine i've heard it i've heard it myself like I've, I've actually worked in environments where they're like um yeah the morphine seekers they've got sickle cell like they're in a crisis their oxygen levels are low and this and that <sighs> and it comes down to that that mentality of black people don't feel pain black people aren't human like they don't experience the same emotions and it's ridiculous it's actually ridiculous and it's killing people like people are losing their lives because of ignorance like this and it makes me so angry and so cross so she hit the nail on the head and um i think you know i've watched i've watched quite a few things you know politics and stuff to do with america and it there always seems to be this 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 mentality of it's black people that are the problem and we have to like dominate them we have to control them we have to like um what was it hillary said bring them to heal or something it's some like 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 she's talking about a dog you know like she's talking about animals like seriously it's it's messed up like it actually makes me so sick um and i couldn't imagine being in that environment because that that's enough to break somebody just sort it out america sort it out you're telling me that the black lives matter protesters are terrorists even though the the people that are writing like destroying stuff and um you know breaking into things and stealing stuff they're not there for the right reasons but the majority of the protests are peaceful but they're not telling you that narrative what they do is they tell you all the bad so they make you feel as if supporting the movement of the progression of the human race you know stop looking down on other people because the skin's darker than yours you know that is like they, they want to push that push that and suppress that down you know that's ha that the mentality i mean the mentality that you can't see that that is the the peaceful protesters being being abused compared to the police showing restraint why how come they can show restraint with people that have got guns and there's how many people that are unarmed that get killed and it's not just black people but you okay there's a lot of people that will be unarmed yeah and get and get killed in america but they showed restraint against pe people that are obvious terrorists like if you're far right you've you've got your 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 screaming you know white power and and 
whatever else, hail Hitler and all that crap, then how, why, why would you show restraint to somebody that's behaving like an animal? I'm confused. Anyways, you know, girl, hon, I don't want to keep you too long. So I just wanted to put my little two cents out there because I, I just don't understand. Like, I know I've never been to America. I've never lived there. But I just feel as if, where's the, like, where's the justice and where's the equality? It's 2020. Wake up, smell the coffee, you know? Give people a chance. I don't know but i was glad that she she ripped him a new a new hole that's for sure she ripped him a new hole because man it's wrong it's wrong and i'm glad that someone's you know speaking up and actually being a being an ally and well she's a person of color you know she's Tell me how I just filmed the whole video and I just realised that there was something in my hair at the front. So please, please, don't come for me, okay? I was still spitting some good points. I can't help that I'm human. <laughs> Give me a like though. Share, subscribe, you know, holler at your girl. Let me know what you think of my video. Let me know if um, if I'm wrong, if I'm right. What do you think? What do you think of Pramila? Have you heard of her? Uh, where are you from in America? Are you from Are you from America? You know what I'm saying, America. Anyways, I'm I'm actually like really hyper this afternoon, and um, like my eyes have been running a bit even because like I was I was feeling passionate about that video. But anyways, bye. She got it right though. She got it right.